Hello, this is Crystal, and I am here with some friend mail, and I also am so backlogged on vlogging some other items that I picked up, so I'm going to get right into it. Okay, this is an awesome um, license plate cover, and it is, I'd rather be shopping at the 99 cent store only, and our great friend, Josue, from Sway to the 99 on Instagram says, Enjoy Crystal and continue to rock the 9. Host Sway, Sway to the 99. And you can see that that is his Instagram name. So please sway on down to the 99. He has been an awesome friend. And he also sent me another I Love 99 Cent dog tag, which I absolutely love. Um, I do wear mine when I go to the 99 cent store because I feel like it gives me good luck. I'm superstitious that way. And, um, like I said, um, you guys all know, um, Josue, and a lot of you have already, um, subscribed to his Instagram, but if you haven't, please do, because he does pick up a lot of great items. Um, he was able to haul two boxes of these Lara bars, um, yesterday he found them, and these are really hard to find. I didn't think I was going to find them, but as you guys all know from Friday's vlog, um, I did find them. And speaking of Friday's vlog, we're actually up to 2,000 views on Friday's vlog, so we are definitely, um, getting a lot more new friends, um, to our channel, which is awesome, because, uh, the more friends we make, um, you know... Look at Josue. He's been an awesome friend. We've made friends with Amanda Loves Ada. She started a channel. Carol Hernandez was a friend of the of our channel. She started her own channel. Amanda Loves Ada was a friend of our channel. And she started her own channel. And Tika Ta, I believe that's her name. Um, trust me, it'll give me a couple times to get it right. But she has also started her own channel. And she's another great friend of the channel. Um... If any of you guys want to leave your link to your YouTube on my comment section, feel feel more than free to do so. So I want to thank Josue very, very much for this awesome, awesome, awesome gift. And then I also have, let's see, this says, I like the way you roll. And I like how it has a bike because as you guys all remember, I did show you the bike, my pink and black bike that I got. And this is a really cool uh, spring card. And this is from Arlene, your wheelie sweet. Get it? And I thought that was super cute. And she put a butterfly and another little butterfly and let's see this is like a vintage heart and then that's all I'm gonna read and this is from a very good friend of the channel and her name is um, Arlene Osborne and um, she wrote a beautiful message inside and I want to thank her so very much for her continued support um, of our channel and being a great friend she also included, look at how cute, this is in the shape of a candy, and these are stickers. Hello Kitty is a cheerful, warm-hearted little girl, and yeah, I think Crystal's going to keep these stickers, but these are so cute. Um, as you can see, some say candy, and it says Hello Kitty, I mean, they're so cute, and um, they're from Sanrio, which is awesome, because it's authentic. And let's see really quick. I'm going to show you how awesome these stickers are. I opened them up and I was like, oh my gosh. Okay, and they're all wrapped up, which is really cool. So I'm not going to unwrap them, but look at You can see how there's more candies and she's doing all these cool things. And the, she's there's pink and it's glitter. So you know I am absolutely loving this. Thank you, Arlene. And Vintage Soul. Now... As you guys all know, I'm going to Disneyland for Valentine's Day. I've been talking about it for a while. Now, Vintage Soul has been um, a friend of our channel for a very long time. And she got me this heart lead bracelet. It says, a little Valentine's gift for you. And see how it lights up? I am saving this for Disneyland. This is going to be part of Crystal's outfit. So that is why um, I am going to vlog at Disneyland, and I will definitely vlog when I light everything up, because I am packing one bag full of goodies just so um, for nighttime. And so I want to thank Vintage Soul very much for this, and I absolutely love the card that you included. I am not going to read it, because I feel like it's a personal card between you and I. Um, 
Okay, so thank you, Vintage Soul, for my bracelet. And look, at when it lights up, it's going to look like that. And then I got this at the Dollar Tree, or no, 99 cent store, right when Valentine's Day came out, because I knew that they were going to sell out. And this is one of the very first things that I picked up, and this is the Happy Valentine's Day LED 8 flashing necklace. And I will be sporting this at nighttime at Disneyland. And then on Friday's vlog haul from the Dollar Tree, I did haul this cute little bracelet, but I was really rushed through it. Um, I'm pretty sure it'll fit my wrist, and this is in the Minnie Mouse, and it lights up. It says two glow, stick, two glow sticks, 11 beads, and connectors, so I will do that there at Disneyland, or maybe I'll do it before so I don't have to be messing around with it, and of course, as you guys all remember, I did get the Disney Princess uh, Glows in the Dark wand to go with my whole outfit. And not only that, I am going to be wearing my sunglasses. Oh, I'm also bringing my tiara from the 99 cent store from, um, whatchamacallit, from New Year's Eve. It still works. It has all different kinds of settings. Calm. Off. Crazy. Crazier. Calm. So, I only wore it once. I love it. It's blingy. It's pink and black. So, I'm going to be rolling around looking like a total nerd. And I don't care. Um, past the point of caring what people think. And let's see. Okay. Um, I do have the sunglasses. Lord knows where I put them. And there are the sunglasses that I will be wearing. And, I mean, I'm going to bring my regular sunglasses. But I definitely just want to have fun because Disneyland is the happiest place on earth. So, this is what I'm taking to Disneyland, and um, like I said, it's a lot cheaper than buying any of this glow-up stuff that they start selling um, at nighttime. And the only thing, um, well, one of the things I'm going to be getting that my husband's going to get me at Disneyland is another pair of mini ears. I'm not sure which ones, so that will be my third pair. And that's what I'm definitely looking forward to, is picking, going to, straight to the Mad Hatter and picking out my new ears. Okay, so I'm going to do the Walmart really quick. We did go to Walmart yesterday because we definitely need to pick up some stuff. And I think Mom of Four Nicole told me to try this Parents' Choice. And this is fragrance-free baby wipes. And you get 500 in this box. And this is about $8.88. And um, we were getting like $300 um, for... 888 or somewhere around there by Huggies. So I increased my I increased this by 200 and honestly, I can't tell a difference as long as these are fragrance free. Um I am happy. Um it says, yeah, we have 500 wipes and this is um a great brand and um yeah, this is my second time picking them up. We usually I usually go through a case of these um, a month and I like to keep some in my purse and I'll definitely be taking some a pack to Disneyland with us for dirty little hands and paws because like I said we have to take Ollie with us but he'll be going in the kennel okay um so I was looking at the cuties at the 99 cent store and I was like you know if I'm gonna pay a dollar 99 I want them like to look nice so we walked up to Walmart, and these were $4.47. Um, this is three pounds. I'm not sure how many um, the 99 cent store is selling, but yes, I did pay $4.47 for three pounds of cuties. And I'm sure this is not the best deal at all. But again, um, I just sometimes I'm not impressed with the produce section, especially like with oranges um, at the 99. Um, anything else like blueberries, blackberries, strawberries, and grapes has been awesome. But these were, you know, there's not any bruising and there's no fungus or mold. So I just bit the bullet and I did pay that. So that was one of the items that we needed to get. Um, now, another item that I'm trying from um, Walmart are these Noxema 50% more um, aloe razors. It says Spa Shave Triple Blend. It says 3 plus 1 equals 4. So you get four of these, and these were, I think, like 344. So it pretty much averaged to, you know, um, a dollar for each one, except um, 344 for four. And like I said, um, 
I usually get the Equate, just their brand, for three something, but I want to try something different, and Noxzema is a great brand, and it's supposed to be for sensitive skin. So I'll see how I like them, um, and it didn't seem like too bad of a deal considering you did get four in here, so I will let you know how these go. Then needed some gum, so I picked out this Sugarless Mentos gum, and this is ridiculously overpriced, but oh well. Um, it does last quite a long time, and I don't know how many pieces are in here, but it's the big one. It's not, it's 50 pieces. Okay, so we're going to try that out. Um, now, again, with the toothpaste, it's kind of hit and miss. Um, I felt this was a better deal. This was $3.96, and this is the Colgate Value Pack, 6 ounces, and it says Max Fresh with Whitening Breath Strips, Cool Mint. Um, I didn't know whether to get the Crest for, th it was like maybe about four more sets. I think it was like $3.99. Um, but I decided to try the Colgate, and I thought this would be more more toothpaste for my money than getting buying three at the 99 cent store. Okay, and then for my Swifter, we just bought the Great Value, and we did get two of the boxes. Each one is 16, and we actually figured it out. It's actually cheaper to buy two of these than it is to buy the 32 pack. So that's why we went with two of the 16. One will go in underneath my kitchen sink and another one underneath my bathroom sink. Okay, and then um, also at, while we were there, we did get, um, I wanted some Zero Coke. This was like four eighty eight, which I think is a little overpriced. But I'm going to be taking this to Disneyland because I do not want to be paying for four dollars for one can of coke there and then i did get the nestle pure life this is a 35 pack and this was like 398 so this is basically drinks for um for disneyland yeah and okay yesterday was ollie's little valentine's day party at um petco and of course i had a um a coupon so, this is Ollie's um, Valentine's Day present, and it says, Fresh Baked, Made in the USA, Claudia's Canine, and this is 11 ounces, and it says Canine Treat, Little Paw, and as you can see, there's pink hearts, there's yellow hearts, and there's blue hearts and little bones. It comes in a super cute little container, and I did get 50% off of this, and so I paid, I think this was $3.99, and I ended up paying like $2.28 with taxes so that was a really nice deal and um, this will be going with us to Disneyland to give him as treats when he's in the kennel and then they also had a little arts and crafts thing going on there and there is Ollie's paw print as you can tell he was not that cooperative so that's all we could get from him and um, the employees were afraid of him which I'm not sure why because he's a very loving dog so it just was really hard to get his paw print but it was pretty cool and this was free okay so as you guys all know I do love Bath and Body but it can be quite pricey for example of course they don't have the price tag on there no okay no price tags but um, I did get an email saying that it was, if you spent $25, it would be free shipping. So I thought, well, great. And the reason why I like to do, take advantage of those type of deals is, is, is because you can actually go online and see what's in inventory and pick out exactly what you want. And it's just like going to the store, except you're getting free shipping and you're not restricted to just what they have in stock at that one particular store. So, I went, of course, into the clearance section, and I was able to get four of these soaps for $2.50. They're having a major clearance, and it does, I mean, it says winter, and technically we are in winter. It is a little bit Christmassy, but I'm not going to trip over that. So, for $2.50, I did pick up, like I said, four of these. So... Um, I am pretty much set until it is time for spring, and even then, I do have another coupon uh, that they sent to me when, in the mail with this, um, but for right now, that should keep us pretty well stocked in, um, in, which, in soap, and I like the foaming, the gentle foaming hand soap because I think it lasts longer. That's just my opinion, and then these were the second 
Um, this says good, good vibes, sunshine, and lemons. And look how cute that is. It has, it's got the beach. I love the beach. It's got the sunglasses. And this is Bath and Body Works Gentle Foaming Hand Soap. And it basically is supposed to smell like sunshine and lemons. And it says you are my main squeeze. So I did get three. I ordered three of these. And let's see. Um, sorry, my phone is acting up, but it does say four for two fifty. So that was the winter one, and then the sunshine was three twenty five each. And so I basically just picked up seven of these because I was only I was just trying to get to twenty five so I could get a free delivery. And seven of these gentle foaming soaps will definitely last us a while. As a matter of fact, we still have. Um, one whole one from our last, um, haul, which was, or before Christmas, so, and I absolutely love their, um, hand sanitizers, and, um, I got five for, let's see, six, yes, and this one actually came in a package, um, so I did get Bath and, Bo Bath and Body Works Black Cherry Merlot, Let's see what this smells like. It smells very cherry and very wine. Uh, yummy. Um, peach Bellini, which I've had before. Um, as you can tell, these are really kind of um, spring scents. Definitely smell that peach. Um, beautiful Day. Let's see what this smells like. Very florally. Yeah, definitely. I think I'm going to hang on to this one for when it's a warmer month or week. Very nice. And I wanted to get watermelon lemonade um, hand soap, but I'm going to wait until those go on sale or I might use my coupon. Oh, this smells like watermelon. It almost smells like um, the Minute Maid wa hot watermelon drink, juice rather. And then this one is Cucumber Melon, and I used to buy this like in the spray in uh, bath gel and even the lotion when they had it. And this is a very clean scent. So that is what um, I got mailed to me last week. I just, or earlier this week, I just have not had a chance to vlog it, but I want to show you guys this stuff before I put it away. I'm definitely way more excited about spring but, um, like I said, I was not, for two, let me see what I get, two fifty. it's a great deal for, at Bath and Body. Okay, now yesterday I did go to the Dollar Tree, and I picked this up, which I forgot to show you guys, and I absolutely love these tassels, um, uh, it matches my Hello Kitty and my whole motif perfectly, and I was glad to see that they still had them, it has a cute pink heart. As a matter of fact, I think it has two pink hearts, but one's not flipping over right. And then it has the cute tassels. So this was actually one of the last ones in this color, so I was lucky to find it. Then, okay, I did haul these bags on Friday. Now, what I didn't realize, and I went there yesterday, I realized that they come with little coin purses. And I think these are just so cute that of course I had to get one that matched everything so there's the lavender they they weren't put together in sets but when I saw them I said alright now this makes sense so I mean you could use this as a satchel a makeup satchel but look at how cute these are this one goes obviously you can see how it matches and let me open this up and look at inside. It's all nice and padded. You can see the little padding. It's all nice and soft. So, I mean, for me, I could put my contact lens um, carrier in these and put um, a small lens. Gosh, what do you call it? <laughs> Every time I'm on camera, I, I swear, I forget everything. Um, anyways, I was thinking about putting my contact lenses in one of these and putting it in here, my little kit for like when I travel, because it's just too cute. And look at the tassels. And what I like about the tassels is that some of them are like white on the inside and they look really chintzy, 
whereas these are um, the same color and it looks a lot nicer when it matches like this. Or you can just put it on your keychain and use it as a little coin purse, whatever you want to do. Um, and I think this makes a great set. Again, this is a great idea for a gift set for a coworker, your friends, your daughter, you, whoever. Um, I really like this green. I think this is a cute, um, definitely East, screams Easter. And I love this pastel green. Um, and again, it's the same little coin purse. And I had no idea that these go together. But now that I do, I'm going to be, when I do do a giveaway, I'm going to be doing it in a set. So you, I'll be actually just giving away the set. Because the set is a cool giveaway alone in itself. So you have like the coral. I wish my camera was better so you could actually really see the color. Because this color is an awesome color. Um, and then you have the lavender. And the, the lavender is just so awesome. Um... Very springy, very summer, very Eastery. These just are all East great ideas for spring gifts, Easter, even Mother's Day. Um, you could do a lot. You could make them, you know, tons of cute little friendship baskets with these. And um, I did not strike out on Bolero. Yay! Um, look how cool this is. I mean, this could be a totally cool giveaway gift. This Bolero bar matches this. And this is lavender and chamomile, relaxing. Um, this is my first time hauling this um, scent. Uh, yeah, I can definitely smell the lavender, lavender and chamomile, and I think that would go great together. And I think this would go great together. And this is, let me see, um, shea butter and... Oregon and Shea Butter Bath Soap by Bolero. I've never have been able to haul this. So look how cute. That makes a totally cute gift item. And how funny because this one pretty much matches this one. And this is Coconut Milk and Mango. And I'm actually going to be keeping this bar for myself for sure. Because I absolutely love coconut. And like I said, one of these whole sets I'm keeping for myself and the other will go into the giveaway stockpile. But I just wanted to show you guys how they are coming in sets. Um, and then also while I was there, I picked up an apple and cinnamon um, by Bolero. So I was excited again to get this. Mom of Four Nicole sent me my first one and um, I was able to find it again. I also was able to find it in the cream, and this is, I've heard great, um, great reviews about the Bolero cream, so I was excited to be able to find it in the apple and cinnamon, and this is my second time hauling it in um, vanilla cream. Again, this will be for a giveaway. The apple cinnamon cream is for me. Um, and then the only other one they had was this lavender and chamomile, and again, that matches perfect as a little set. So if you're on a budget, you could go to the Dollar Tree. You could spend $4 and, well, five, including the card. Or what I would do is buy a reusable bag because reusable bags are just better than gift bags. Gift bags you end up throwing away or, you know, maybe giving it to somebody else. But a reusable bag is just a lot more um, efficient which is what I did. And I got this bag at the Dollar Tree. And I told my husband, I said, this is your Valentine's Day bag. And he said, okay. And I said, and with my Valentine's Day gift, please give me a reusable bag. So how cute is this bag, you guys? Granted, I picked it out for myself, but he's still gonna get his gifts in it. And I think it's super cute. It's springy. Um, the colors, these colors are totally in. And guess what? It matches my little green bag. More and more, I'm liking that green. Um, so I could be totally cool and, you know, use this as a little purse and walk around with my green bag, not the soap. Okay, and then I'm such a dork, I forgot, I have two of these now. I picked up one in pair thinking I didn't have the Shea Butter hand cream. I do. So now I have two pairs. Super cute. I love the back drop and this makes for a great little thank you present and with a thank you note, I think that's cute. Um, I've never been able, well, I had a chance to haul it, but I didn't. So this is my first time hauling the bath salts. This is called Bath Soak by Bolero Vanilla Cream. So that was awesome. And I also got 
the body oil, which I love. I actually have um, one unopened one in vanilla, and now I have apple and cinnamon. And that was all I could find at the Dollar Tree as far as Bolero goes, but I think I did a really great job of getting as much Bolero as I could, considering here in California, they're just, we just don't get the Bolero like everybody else does. And like I said, um, I was glad to be able to find a whole bunch of soaps that, um, like this coconut, super excited, definitely keeping that one. And, and then I found my little chain. And then we actually, this is why we went there. <laughs> we went there for a hole puncher. And this one is in lavender. They also had green and then they had like black. And of course I was looking for pink. So we decided to get purple for the Lakers. And see, everything matches. I'm going with spring. So, anyways, um, that is my Dollar Tree haul. Um, I think I'm getting a little bit better at hauling from the Dollar Tree and as far as keeping up with what's new and coming out. So definitely be on the lookout for these coin purses with the tassels because, um, like I said, it, these make great sets for gifts. And if you can find the soaps to match, well, there is a giveaway right there, and it costs you $3, well, plus shipping. Okay, so that's what I've... Oh, wait, I'm not even done. Okay, I saw my sister, and she gave me this Kate Spade... Um, towel for my kitchen. It is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm going to look for the matching one so I can have two of them. This is, I love all of these colors. Kate Spade is a great brand. She also gave me this tomato and thyme with natural um, extract spa bar. And I'm telling you, when you read tomato and thyme, you think, what? No, this is so aromatic that I don't even want to open it up. I don't know where I'm going to put it, but it is, it just smells so awesome. And she put it in this really cute bag. And you don't have to use a wine bag for a wine bag. You can actually use it for what she gave it to me for. Sorry, you guys. And then she gave me this tomato and flour and herbs. And this is going to go on my bar. It says herbs. You know what? Let me pull it out. I'll show you what it is. It is so cute. Okay, so here are the sticks. And then you have the oil right here. But that is what it looks like. And I really like it. It's going to go perfect on the bar. I can't wait to take down the Valentine's decorations and actually start getting into spring. Um, I love the box. It is really super cute and um, perfect for my kitchen. And then she also got Ollie. These are actually, look how cute they are. They're in the shape of little doggies and they're called a towel tree. Now, I didn't really know what these were because I have not seen them, so I'm not sure where she got them. But it says towel treat and they're microfiber and I guess it's for when you go out and you need to clean up. Um, sometimes when they eat, they get really messy, so these are great to have like in your doggy diaper bag. Except I don't want to use them because they're too cute and Ollie always gets uh, food everywhere. But I might use the brown one because I think he'd that will wash well, but look how cute that is. To me, they're too cute to use. And she also picked up Ollie some all-natural toothpaste. We, it's, we have to use it three times a week. We have used it, and he actually did okay with it, so we were super stoked about that. And she actually put it in this super cute bag that has a bone on it, and I thought that was really awesome. So... This is what Ollie's little treat bag came. And then there's one more items, a couple more items that she gave me. Okay, and this is the bag my sister gave me. It says sometimes you just need a high five. And these are really cute colors. And what she gave to me in it is by, is for Ollie, of course. Sorry, I'm walking all over the place, but this is another haul that I just have not gotten around to showing. Okay, and this is by the American Kennel Club, um, founded in 1884, and um, it is all cute. Look at that. It, here, there's his pillow, 
and this is the softest blanket. I want to use it. And so what we've been doing, and why it's kind of like not all neat, is we've been sleeping, putting it on our bed, because this is going to go, oops, when Ollie goes to Disneyland Kennel, we're going to actually put this in the kennel with him so that that way um, he'll have a familiar scent of home. So that's why it was all cutely wrapped and everything, but uh, we keep taking it out and putting it on our bed when we go to sleep. And um, this actually has pockets in it. So it's actually, you can either, the dog can use it or you can use it. But as you can see, it's black and white. You all know black is my favorite color, so of course my sister knows that. And this has pockets, which is really awesome. So this is a great gift. Um, I don't know if she ordered this online or where she got American Kennel Club from, but I'm definitely a fan. So now Ollie will be getting more stuff from American Kennel Club. And again, like I said, um, this was definitely a cute bag to put everything in it, and um, so you can use wine bags because we don't drink, so this is a really cute bag to put like all the stuff that she put in it, and I'm definitely going to hang on to this bag. Um, and this is actually Ollie, Mr. Ollie's bag now, so, but really cute.